In this lesson, we're going to look at the Smart Battery Combiner. This device serves to ensure that both batteries get charged, but one cannot discharge into the other. So let's start with the wiring all the way from the alternator to the batteries. The alternator is connected to the high current engine starter positive motor feed, and then from there direct to the engine start battery. So the alternator and starter motor are permanently hardwired to the start battery. And from there, another high current cable from the start battery runs to the start battery terminal of the smart combiner. This example is based on a model from Victron Energy. The other high current connection runs to a domestic battery. And there are two other much smaller terminals on the combiner. One is a low current positive feed for a paralleling button. So you can parallel the batteries should the start battery become too discharged to start the engine. And the other low current connection is for a negative feed to the device. Note that the negatives are not shown on the other components. So let's see how it works. Once the engine is started, the device first monitors the voltage until a predetermined voltage level or time delay period has been met. If we meter the two battery banks here, we can see they are at different voltages. And this is different to standard voltage sensing relays that connect instantly. The voltage on the start battery is increasing as it's being charged by the alternator. And the smart combiner is programmed to connect the start and domestics together only once the preset voltage has been met. This is for two main reasons. It ensures the start battery has a bit of a top-up charge first, but it also gives the engine a chance to warm up a little without having the extra burden of load from the charging of the domestics. If the voltage rises instantly to the threshold, the smart combiner will delay the paralleling of the domestics for a preset time period. We're now at the preset voltage threshold, and this is often 13.7 volts. The smart combiner is happy that there has been sufficient time and the connecting voltage has been reached, so the paralleling connection is made. Now the start and domestic batteries are charging as one, so the smart combiner is now acting like a battery selector switch set to both. Both batteries are charging nicely and the voltage is rising. So let's see what happens when we stop the engine. When we stop the engine, the voltage drops from the charging voltage to the resting voltage. And in this case, that's 12.6 volts. The smart combiner senses this and acts without delay and the connection is broken. So the start battery cannot discharge into the domestics, ensuring there's always power to start the engine. Here you can see the domestics are powering the onboard systems, discharging safely without affecting the start battery. And the combiner has another trick. If the start battery should fail to start the engine, just push the emergency parallel button once and it will hold the batteries parallel whilst you start the engine. Now you can start the engine using both batteries. And once the engine is running, both the start and domestics will be on charge. So in this lesson, we have covered smart battery combiners.